Welcome back to the Lemmings Let's Play! Into this update... Uh, oh my god, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Alright, in this update, we're going to play level 11 to 20 in the fun difficulty. We're starting with level 11. Keep your hair on, Mr. Lemming. This level introduces a new hazard, which is a one-way block. You can only dig through them in the direction that the arrows are pointing. If you try to dig from any other direction, it's not gonna work. Yep, the game is simply not letting us dig. It's not gonna have any of this. Also, the two lemmings that you send over the block structure need to be floaters because they're not gonna survive the drop all the way down to the ground. And by the way, whenever a lemming happens to be both a climber and a floater, the game refers to it as an athlete. It's just pretty cosmetical, it's nothing really important, it's just part of the game's jargon and overall. So yeah, that's it for this level. With that said, if you wanted to save pretty much everyone, you'll have to wait for a while because this one lemming over here is not in a hurry to get back home. So, yep, I'm sorry, but you miss your boat because you're too determined to go all the way up here. But hey, if lemmings want to fly, I guess they could go over here. I don't know, but either way, it's nice to have a hole into the wall just for aeration. Patience. The patience for what? Well, I don't know, I don't think this game is about patience, because hey, this level has a release rate of 99, which means that the lemmings are certainly not patient, so... Is it me who has to be patient? About what? But yeah, this level is a huge clusterfuck of lemmings, so you're gonna need to have a blocker down here, in order to make it so that your lemmings are not gonna kill themselves by walking onto the pit to the left. Yeah, I guess the patience thing is about building up that pit, because... It may sometime be difficult in order to build out of here successfully without any kind of trouble. Because, yeah, when you build up your staircase, initially it doesn't work, but if you keep building your staircase all the way inside the wall, then your lemmings will be able to jump up to the ledge in order to finally reach the exit. Other than that, you might have to do like a corkscrew builder or something in order to eventually gain enough height to get out of here, and I guess that could be frustrating because of how many lemmings you have in one tiny hole and you have to pretty much click on the lemmings that are going in the proper direction. So we all fall down and yeah, we're going to need some diggers here because yeah, this is not a fall that the lemmings can do, they're gonna die and finally you have to save all 20 of them, so it's a good thing that you have 20 diggers in order to do the job, so everybody's gonna need to dig all the way down and we're going to start at the extremity of the platform because yeah, if your lemmings are not digging, once again, they're dead, and you cannot afford any casualty. You have to keep digging on the hedge to make sure that you're not gonna make a hole where the lemmings are going to fall down, so you want to always keep them digging in a different place. With that said, however, this level moves a little bit too slow, but hey, you can raise the release rate to whatever you want it to be in order to make this a little bit more bearable. Yeah, are all my lemmings out? Yeah, I think they're all ours, so... Yep, yeah, we're just going to click on everyone in order to make them dig. No matter, nobody's gonna walk through here ever again, so... No mercy for the ledges! And there goes another level that... I don't know, honestly, I don't really like this one level, but... There's definitely more to this level than meets the eye. What could this possibly mean? We don't know. So yay, I got 10,000 points, I'm so happy about this. Okay, this level is certainly going all the way up and down. Also, Origins of Lemmings. I'm not entirely sure what this has to say about the Origins, but apparently Lemmings were born from pillars and water, I guess. Once again, this is a level of fun that I really like, because it's one of those levels, once again, where you have a bunch of different solutions in order to be able to go through it. It's all about uh, either going all the way up in order to be able to mine through the pillars the way that I did, or there's another way. In fact, we're going to show off the two different ways that you can go in order to dig your way all the way to the right. 
The first method involves sending two lemmings over here. Since they're gonna be both climbers, we're going to make one a blocker just in order to save up on uh, other supplies. And we're just going to mine down. You have to start at the right place so that your miner is going to be able to get to the level of the lemmings so that they can climb inside the tunnel. But also if you dig too low, what's gonna happen is that your lemming is just gonna keep digging all the way in the pit of water so that he's gonna die and most other lemmings that are just going to uh, walk back to the left like they're doing. With that said, however, yeah, that lemming is certainly going places right now. I'm hoping he's going to be okay. Yep, I think he's not gonna be okay. But hey, at least I will give this dive a 10 out of 10. That was really graceful. And now for way number two of getting through this level. We're just going to do both ways at the same time because, hey, since this level is lengthy enough, we can afford to do both. The other way is just to build a staircase to the level of the pillar and then you just bash through it like that. You have to build your staircase high enough because if it's too low then you're going to fall into the little pit where the water lies and your level is most likely over. Unless that you build an even bigger staircase in order to go above your botched up tunnel and if you have to do this you might as well just restart the whole level. It's probably going to be easier to just start again from scratch. So feel free to do whatever strategy you want. Bashing through the pillars is definitely the best one of the bunch because then you'll be able to save everyone unless that you start uh, using more advanced tactics in order to prevail but I'm not gonna go into them yet because this is the fun difficulty and for people who are not aware of the game I'm not going to overly burden everyone mind with information that honestly you do not need in order to beat fun. So level 15, don't let your eyes deceive you. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's deceiving, but hey, when you first see this level, you'll be like, okay, this level is pretty long, that might actually be a tricky one. And in fact, this is the one level that teaches you the value of putting blockers at the beginning in order to seal off all of your lemmings and then send the loner forward in order to prepare the path to everyone. You've got these three pillars to bash through, you've got a huge pit to build over, and you have yet another pit to build over because the staircase is broken. At this point of the game it might be a little intimidating because it's really huge, but you have 8 minutes, so you've got way more time than you think. Just take it slow and cautious and just relax. Also, moments like these one usually is why I'm happy to have fast forward whenever I play the game casually, but since it's a LP and I really don't want to give people seizures or anything, we're just going to do things at a mostly uh, leisurely pace. So this is also the one level that's going to force you to know how to keep your builder going, because yeah, as you know already, if you let a builder go on for too long, he's just gonna shrug and he's gonna stop, but if you assign him as a builder again as he shrugs, then you give him more bricks and he continues doing his work. You do not have a whole lot of time before the lemming walks off the bridge, so you always need to keep a close tab on your builders, because otherwise things might end up going really badly for you. And it also happens if you're way too impatient and you start clicking on him before he's done building because that won't do anything either. And by the time you realize what happened, oops, your lemming has just walked off the bridge and he probably will die. So we have to build over here and there's a trap that you're probably never going to know what it does because why would you ever approach it? It's a rope snare and it's kind of brutal. Honestly, most of the death animations that result from traps in this game can be sometimes hard to watch, especially for a cutesy game like this. This is why you gotta save your lemmings in order to have them uh, not da die to really stupid things like this. Also, it's vital that you put in a blocker at the beginning of the level because otherwise you're not going to rescue the correct amount of lemmings. This bridge is long enough to build that, well, it's a really bad idea to just uh, let your lemmings roam free while you're building it because they're just going to walk all the way into the pit and you're never gonna meet the required rescue rate for the level. 
I even considered recording the level again in order to showcase it, but I was like, okay, I think that the viewers can imagine that you're going to lose more than 20 lemmings if you just decide to build over this huge ass gap uh, while not preventing anyone of uh, passing through. Also, I don't know, I'm not really reassured about the looks that Heaven has. I mean, it's just a giant demon head which is full of fire. That's kind of creepy, honestly. Really bad Heaven. Also, fun fact, on the SNES version of the game, the little sign here does not say Heaven, but it says Paradise, because we cannot have re references to religion into the game. Or at least Paradise is more of a neutral term, so this is probably why they went with that one term. But that's about the extent of the changes that have been done in the Asinius version of the game. For the most part, it's a pretty faithful version, and yeah, I definitely hit it at this level because it's a little on the boring side. I mean, you just have to build a bridge which consists of seven builders in order to win this level, and that's all that there is to this one. I mean, after level 15, I didn't really think that this one level was necessary. But that said, however, this level is totally necessary. Holy shit, this is a great level. It's easy when you know how, and, well, to be fair, it indeed looks really easy, so... Yeah, we're just going to send everyone all the way over the mountain, or through the pillars, in order to reach a really easy goal, all the way down here. So, yeah, we're almost done already. Nope. The level just pulls off a really dirty trick on you because the entire hallway at the bottom of the level is filled with pistons that are going to squash your lemmings like that. There's four of them and if you send your lemmings through here, you're not going to have much chances of saving anyone here, unless that you know what you're doing. But we're going to take the easy way that the level suggests. So. Yeah, this pit over here is not gonna be survivable by our people, but we have to rescue 20 lemmings out of 50. And we happen to exactly have 20 floaters, so... Here's our easy way to the level. I mean, we're not going to do any hell again, but hey, we're going to save the 20 lemmings that we need, and in the end, that's all that matters. Also, uh, wait, I know I have assigned all my floaters, but where the hell is the last lemming that will survive? Oh, okay, the very last one, of course. So yeah, that'll be it for this level, or at least the easy solution. There's another solution that you can use in order to rescue way more than just a mere 20 lemming, so we're just going to replay the level in order to try to do better. You can have a replay feature in this one port of lemming that will repeat all of your past actions, but since I killed off pretty much 10 of my lemmings immediately by letting them walk into the hallway of doom, we're not going to repeat this again. We now know what to expect, and now what we're going to do is pretty much what we ended up doing on level 15. We're going to seal off all of our lemmings between two blockers, or one blocker, or anything, and we're going to build them a ramp in order to make their way to the exit without needing the floaters. Also another strategy that you can use, if you build on a wall and you hit it, then the lemming will turn around, and that doesn't really change if he has a climber or anything, he's still gonna turn back. Oh no, I clicked too early, god damn it! Okay, but... I guess that's still going to be sufficient of a bridge in order to save the lemming, so... Yeah, let's just... Oh no, he's still turning back! Uh, can I s Ah no, I didn't save my lemming, but... I need to save the rest now, because by building so close to the stair, now the lemmings cannot climb on it anymore. Okay, here we go, crisis averted. And now the lemming that was gonna get squashed built into a wall, and he turned back. Good boy! Yeah, even though that was a complete mess of a solution, this still turned out better than the other solution because we saved 47 instead of saving 20. But yeah, I was warning you earlier about keeping close tabs on your builder. If you don't do it, this is what happens. So let's block and blow. Now it's time for her pyrotechnic simulation and training exercise. So, you can tell that the solution is going to be pretty easy. You just put blockers and you detonate them at the places where your lemmings will be away from the places where there's fire pits, because you don't want them to be incinerated to death. 
but if you want to, you can do some practice and try to beat this level without using the bombers. After all, you need to get accustomed to the fact that there's a whole 5 seconds that elapses as you set off the bomber and that may require some timing and some other time it just becomes really messy because you don't really have a good lemming to click on because it becomes such a mess of critters all over the place. Which is why having a source port usually helps because then you can force the game to assign a lemming on a direction that you want instead of completely misclicking on the wrong lemming because it's impossible to tell them apart because they're all bunched up in the same pile, all going in different directions at once. So yeah, her training ended up being completely successful, we didn't even use a blocker. Oh, take good care of my lemmings, as they're going to go on the biggest roll of their lives. Yeah, it's such a big level, and for the most part it's kinda of full of empty, so might as well show off a new trick. If you set up a blocker right as he falls down the trapdoor, what's gonna happen is that he's gonna stop lemmings that are going to walk toward the left, so this way, you're not gonna have to wait until a lemming is gonna walk off their doom before you act and do something in order to counteract uh, whatever he's doing. So we probably could be able to win this level by simply encasing our lemmings between two blockers and let one lone lemming build to the exit again, but to hell with doing that. That would be boring to do this all of the time, so let's try something different here. We're going to stall the lemmings by just taking a longer path by digging through these big empty arches that kind of look like rainbows. And hopefully that will keep our lemmings busy while they will be digging through all of this. But now I might have a problem. And that problem is called multitasking, which is why the pause button usually is here for. Using pause in this game is vital, because it will help you do all of the multitasking that you will never be able to do. And for the most part, multitasking is also way more powerful in this version of the game than like the Amiga version, the regular PC version, because you cannot assign skills or raise the, raise the release rate whenever the game is paused, so yeah, that allows you to do a whole lot more things that you'll never be able of doing. So yeah, it was a close race, but hey, the builder finished with quite some time to spare, so yeah, we managed to save one more lemming by not using two blockers right off the bat in order to succeed. With that said, however, it might take a while because yeah, we've got a bunch of lemmings that are just walking all the way back to the left. Just like, I don't know, when you see all of these lemmings going to the right in big masses and be like, hey, you know what, these lemmings probably have a good, better ID than I do, but no. Lemmings are thick-headed and they all believe that what they're doing is the right thing, so yeah, they're not about the masses, they're about themselves, and only you can help, help them prevail. I mean, I know lemmings can speak, so maybe they could at least shout warnings? Oh, we are now at Lemcon 1. Also, you gotta admire the pipes that just spew out toxic waste or acid into the whole base. Yeah, I kinda don't want my lemmings to drown, so we're going to stall them with builders. Once again, you could have uh, two blockers in order to keep your lemmings safe while you do all of the path, but once again, I'm gonna try to make things a little bit more the fun to watch by simply doing uh, something else in order to try to prevent the use of blockers. With that said, I'll use blockers anytime that it's convenient. Uh, oh fuck, speaking of multi Yep. Multitasking unfortunately failed because I completely did not pay attention. I probably should have waited until I gave my climber. Yep. I'm doing the climber so that people can be retained by the barrier, and whenever the bridge will be ready, we'll dig through it, and then the way to the exit is going to be opened up. Yep, and here goes another fun level, and I'll be the last one for this update. Yeah, Lemcon 1 was scary with its acid, but hey, it sure ended up working right for us. Also, I'm so thankful that this one version of Lemming works with uh, raw Lemming numbers instead of percentages, because I don't want to do math whenever I'm playing this game. Oh, another big level. Alright, 
that's a pretty good note in order to quit because we're going to have a big old sprawling journey across us as we're going to finish the fun difficulty in the last video. We're going to play through level 21 to 30 and that'll be it for this one update. So I wish all of you goodbye.